Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use multiple lookup function in Microsoft Excel to get the product name and the sales on the basis of product ID. We will show you four different formulas. The first one we will discuss about the index plus match function. Here we have the ID or the product ID and we have to get the product name on the basis of this ID. This ID is available on column B and we have to fetch the product name from column A. We will use here match plus index function. So let me explain you the index function first. So we will use here index and we will select the column from where we want to get the data. So let me select the column A. We will select only column A comma if I will give some input let's say number 5 and just hit the enter. I'll get the product name which is available on row number 5. Now for this 5 we have to make it dynamic. So let's delete this 5 and we will use the match function here and we will match the id comma the lookup array will be column b to b so we will type here b to b comma 0 for the exact match and just close the bracket hit the enter. So we are getting here the product name for product id 1004 which is available here. Now let's check it. Let us change the product id. I am putting here 1005. Then you can see it has been changed to the power supply unit which is this one. Similarly we can get the sales also. So to get the sales we can just freeze this. Press F4 and freeze this one also. Just press F4 and we will put the dollar here. Now we can copy this and paste here. We will just change the value of A. We want to get the sales which is available on column C. So let us use here C to C and just hit the enter. So we are getting the respective sales. Now we can get this information using the XLOOKUP function also. So let us get the product name using the XLOOKUP. Let us use here XLOOKUP lookup value will be id comma lookup array will be wherein we want to search this id we want to search in the id field this one so select this range comma the return array we want to get the product name so select this range and just close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here the name of the product similarly to get the sales use the x lookup lookup value put product id comma lookup array sorry it should be comma and lookup array we want to search in the id select this comma this time we want to return the sales amount select this one close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting the sales of this id now if i change this to 5 you can see everything is changed so let's use here offset function and select the reference this one comma then we will put the row number to put the row number dynamically we will use the match function use match use match function lookup value we will select this cell and we will put the dollar sign before e comma we want to search this id in this range so press f4 comma 0 just close now the column we, we want to search in the same column the offset and just close and hit the enter we are getting the product name here now we can simply control r to get the sales now only difference is we can put here c3 in place of a3 just hit the enter or you can just put here second column also okay so we are getting the same thing so first column is the column number 0 the index is 0 then 1 then 2 so you can just input the column number 2 also Alright, now to get the product name on the basis of ID, we can use the VLOOKUP function also. Although VLOOKUP works from left to right, but here we will use from right to left, okay. Product name on the basis of ID. Let's use the VLOOKUP here. Lookup value this one, comma, then we will use the choose function. And here in the curly bracket, we will put 1, comma, 2 close the curly bracket then we will select the ranges the first range we will select that is this id 
comma the second range we will select this product and just close the bracket for choose function comma column index number will be 2 comma 0 just close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting here the product name to get the sales we can use the simple we look up we look up this comma we can select these two because we are using the lookup we look up from left to right comma 2 comma 0 close the bracket hit the enter we are getting the sales here so friends that is how we can use these all four lookup function in microsoft excel i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching